All right, so I got these little grates. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. I'm gonna use a impact driver and get these little square heads. Pull this out and see what's up underneath it. All right, this is one of the most important jobs on the boat is removing this sea grate and, and top of sea chest. So this is my process of doing it. I'm using an impact driver hitting with a hammer and driving them out, then use an impact to pull it off. All right, I'm gonna pull this thing off. I got all the got all the hardware and all the gunk around it off. GoPro down, GoPro down. It's funny. All right, well, as you can see, got it off. It's got a lot of junk in here. Looks like it's just access to through holes and a bunch of other stuff, so. It's kind of a weird way to do this, but okay. Maybe it's just to prevent big debris covering up anything or getting on anything. I'll clean that up. It's probably a piece of stainless. But yeah, well there's that. I'm going to get it all cleaned up. All right, so here's the through hole, bottom of my engine. All right, so here we are in the engine bay. I've showed you all that great from the outside. This is your water intake, your salt water intake for the engine, your black water flush, and uh, your your toilet your salt water for your toilet so if you can see this hatch goes to the outside world or to the water so this hatch looks like this hatch and what I've done is I've taken it all apart I have the lid I have you know you've seen it in a snippet of me cleaning it and epoxying it and everything else and obviously I'll show videos of me putting it all back together or later in this video you'll see it being all put back together but so I've coated it multiple times with the uh, 325 two-part epoxy I've obviously core sealed it um, so I just kind of want to show what it looks like after I'm done and what it looks like before I'm done Obviously this whole engine bay area is kind of a mess right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to These are very important. They kind of deal with water intake and Through holes, so I want to make sure everything's really sound in these I can really care less about like water filters and and trash electronics 
But this is really important. So this is kind of one of the first things I'm going to tackle on, make sure it's done right. All right, I'm going to go back to a time lapse and take it all apart. All right, so I open this up and it's it's full of water. It's kind of disgusting. So I'll have to get that water out and I think it's a depth sounder or something in there, but yeah. Definitely have to get that looked at, clean it all up, seal it back up. All right, while grinding this, I, I only was trying to grind any loose scale off and not really trying to get all the paint and everything off that was, I would say, adhered to the steel good. I would scuff it up with the, with the wire brush, clean everything else, and then the core seal will do the rest. Core seal acts as a primer and rust converter in one so that's the way I was going all right so you can tell I've cleaned off this cover all around gone way back here I time lapse some of it not all of it just because of different tools I use and then I'm gonna go ahead and core seal it and then let that sit core seal it a few times and then go ahead and do the 235 all right that's the C chest that I was doing freshly core sealed that's what it looks like before it dries all right so this right here is that sea chest cover the where the actual open water is this is a another like a depth sounder cover so underneath the hull there's going to be a round thing where the depth sounder is then it's bulkheaded on that round piece of on that uh that flat piece of metal then there's a cylinder up to the bottom of the hull of the of the vessel then this plates that off. So there's like a double lock. So if it ever goes through your through hole where your depth sounder is, it then has to get through this plate as well before it leaks. So that being said, um, I just pretty much trace them on. This is just some, some rubber gasket material. I traced them on here. I'm gonna cut them out. And then to do the holes, I bought this tool, you just hammer it and then puts the holes so I need to it All right, so there they are. They're all cut out, ready to go. I'll probably get them bolted up and until it looks, I might cut the centers out. We'll see. I'll probably do that off camera so I don't have to worry about filming it. But if I do, you know why. All right, so I got my gaskets cut, lids, everything's lined up for these. I'm gonna, I gotta pull all these bolts out for this. Get all the bolts out lined it all up i'm gonna use some 4200 quick seal for the sealant 
and get her sealed up and let her cure. all right these boxes are done sealed up 4200 and a rubber gasket looking good thanks for watching like and subscribe